Hi there, Jeffrey Rose from Experimental Homesteader, Exotic Gardening, and SherryAnnRichardson.com. Uh, please subscribe. Oh, I am worn out. Um, yesterday we got all those plants moved. Um, I think we spent five hours moving plants. Um, after I had already put the door on the back of the greenhouse and put up a double layer of plastic, then we moved all those plants. So this morning when I got up, I was sore. I hurt all over. I was still tired. <sighs> excuse me. Oh, excuse me. I was still very tired. Uh, I came into work. Um, I had a pretty decent day. Um, people had come back in. You know, we we were we were missing a couple people yet, but not bad. Um, and uh, so things went pretty smooth. Uh, I didn't have to help with coffins. Um, I didn't have to help in back aisle. Uh, I came in, I was able to do my uh, milk cart, took care of glass, took care of paneling. Glass was really small today, so that was, you know, quick and easy. Uh, paneling wasn't bad. Then I got to shelves. Uh, Brandon came over and was able to help for part of shelves um, before he got pulled off to help with draughts. Um, but, you know, got everything done and out of there a little over nine hours, which wasn't bad. But I am just so <laughs> tired right now. Um, I feel like I go home and sleep for a week, which I can't do. Um, you know, I have to work. <laughs> but, uh, at least it's, you know, we've, we've got maybe five more plants to bring in. Um, it is raining. Uh, it's been raining off and on all day. Um, so the last few plants that are outside in pots um, have gotten wet. Um, so they'll be a little heavier because of the, the water, but they're smaller pots. So they're not as bad. Um, so, but, you know. As long as they get brought in before Wednesday. Uh, oh, wow. Like I said, I'm tired. But as long as they get brought in before Wednesday, um, they'll be okay. Um, you know, they'll, uh, they just have to be brought in before the temperature drops. Um, and they're, they're, they're plants that are probably going to go dormant anyways. Um, we want to protect them from the, the freezing, but, you know, they'll, they'll go dormant. They, they won't, you know, stay through the winter really. Um, so the, the moisture, a little bit of cold, uh, isn't going to hurt them too much. Um, we just don't want them to freeze. So, but, uh, at least this is over until spring. Uh, then everything has to go back outside. <laughs> uh, but a lot of times when we're, when we're taking stuff back out, we do it in stages. Um, it's a little easier. We can get the you know, Sherry can get a lot of the smaller stuff out um, during the day while I'm at work. And uh, then the big stuff, you know, I don't have to move it all in one day. It can go, you know, some stuff, you know, a couple of days at least, you know. Um, but when it starts getting cold, then basically we're, we're on a time schedule of, you know, it has to be done before you know, the temperature drops, so we've got to get them, you know, all in one day. So, 
but uh, <sighs> next stage is to, you know, plastic over the outside of the greenhouse. Um, I've got some trees that I'm still working on getting cut up. I've got to get, you know, the office cleaned up and organized and, and stuff moved out so that I can uh, have the room to run the wood burner. Um, I've got to get wood stacked up. Probably have to buy some wood uh, to get through the winter. Um, I want to try my best to get some wood um, purchased and, and stacked and, and organized um, in the next couple of months before winter actually hits. So I've got a supply uh, so I don't have to be, you know, every week running out, you know, in the middle of winter trying to get some wood. So, but uh, anyways, I think that's going to do it for today. So please subscribe. Give us thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below, and uh, we will see everybody tomorrow. Stay safe.